Good afternoon this Thursday, the 10th of November. I'm Grady Wolf, a market analyst with Bell Direct. Well, the local market's green run came to an end on Thursday with the key index closing 0.5% lower as investor sentiment was dampened by the global sell-off from overnight on the back of tighter than expected results from the midterm election in the US. The ASX seesawed throughout the session today before closing lower, weighed down by sharp sell-offs in the energy, metals and mining and resources sectors. The utilities sector rocketed more than 13% today after Origin Energy, one of Australia's leading energy companies, soared 34% after receiving a takeover offer worth $18.4 billion from Brookfield Asset Management and Mid-Ocean Energy. The offer for $9 per share is the third revision of the initial takeover offer offered by the partners when they first approached Origin. Unsurprisingly, Origin Energy was the winning stock of today's session. It was a big day on the M&A front with fund manager Perpetual also gaining over 12% today after announcing it has received an improved takeover offer from the consortium comprising BPEA and Regal Partners for $33 per share, which has been rejected by Perpetual's board as the company determines the offer continues to materially undervalue the company. Invictus Energy bucked the trend of the energy sector sell-off today, surging almost 150% after the upstream oil and gas company released a positive drilling update from its Makuyu One well that is currently being drilled at the company's 80% owned SG4571 license in Zimbabwe's Kabora Basa Basin. The winning stocks from today's session were led by Origin Energy, followed by Perpetual adding 14.82% and News Corp rallying 8.72%. On the losing end, investors sold out of Pendle Group today, which fell 10.93% amid Perpetual's request to delay its acquisition of Pendle. Zero also fell 10.85% today after releasing a first half trading update that missed expectations and Block Inc fell 5.7% today. The most traded stocks by Bell Direct clients today were Mineral Resources, New Hope Corporation and Whitehaven Coal. The Australian dollar is buying 64.22 US cents, 56.66 British pence, 93.85 Japanese yen and 1 New Zealand dollar and 9 cents. In economic data out today, consumer inflation expectations data in Australia for November came out at an increase to 6%, which beat the market expectations and forecasts of a decline to 5.1%. Tonight, investors will be awaiting the release of core inflation data for the US for October, with the market expecting a decrease to 6.5% from 6.6% in September. And that's all we have time for today. I'm Grady Wolf with Bell Direct. I hope you have a wonderful evening and we will see you in the morning for our morning bell ahead of another busy trading day. Happy investing.